Newscast here at 5 o'clock. The Open Door Network breaking ground today on its new campus in Bakersfield. This project over a decade in the making. The facility will be a new safe haven for the homeless, sexual assault victims, as well as survivors of domestic violence and human trafficking, creating a, if you will, a one-stop shop for all of the services the network provides. 17's Connor Dorr was there and files this story. The Open Door Network broke ground today of their long-awaited facility, the Open Door Network Campus. The current complex at 1600 East Truxton, the Open Door Network currently uses for its services, was bought by the California High Speed Rail System. Now they're moving to 529 Dolores Street in Central Bakersfield. So it's been almost a decade in the making to get to this moment today for the groundbreaking of the Open Door Network's new campus. Uh, we've been working on this project for a very long time, knowing that the existing campus was not able to hold um, strong and true to the values that we have to serve our clients. The new campus will be complete with everything the network already offers with the homeless, domestic violence survivors, child abuse victims, and new services they have been wanting to provide. Food, mental and medical health, we're going to provide uh, on-site certificate programs through Kern Community College District and Bakersfield College. Uh, we'll be able to have a children's museum, uh, some more healing rooms, some more private spaces, meditation, yoga. The network is hoping to begin construction in January 2025 and finish the project by the end of 2026. <laughs> Crystal Martinez, a client services manager at the network, explained how having everything in one place will help the clients they serve. Our case managers are going to be able really do a thorough needs assessment to be able to provide the basic needs that these individuals need and to connect and link to more resources. Many political candidates were at the groundbreaking, including oh, Congressman here. David Valadeo, Supervisor Jeff Flores, Mayor Karen Goh, and City Council Member Andre Gonzalez. Moore says they already raised $22 million for this project, but they're still looking for funding. If you want to go donate, you can now. Reporting in Bakersfield, Connor Doerr, 17 News.